Hey everybody, it's Sean here, and the spring is a really busy time for teachers, but I wanted to share at least one little video with you this week. Cheetahs are one of the more endangered cats in the world, and we were able to see some of the training sessions with the cheetahs over at Bush Gardens while we were over there during state science fair competition. So, without further ado, here's one of the cheetahs, Chi, and some running sessions with her with her trainers. Enjoy! I heard it over there, 60 to 70 miles per hour at top speed. To kind of put that in perspective, that is faster than our roller coasters in this park operate. It's also your average speed limit on most major freeways. Uh, so these guys are built for incredible speed. We often think about them with speed, uh, but they're not built to maintain it. Only the healthiest achievement maintain top speed for about 30 seconds. Uh, so they're really built to run incredibly fast, accelerate amazingly fast, and then burn out pretty much. So we're going to set that up kind of out here on the habitat. Now in Africa, cheetahs are going to typically run in order to capture dinner. It is a survival necessity for them. If they don't run fast enough, they don't capture dinner, they're going to go hungry. Do that for too many days, it's not going to be pretty. Here in our habitat, our cheetahs are running for a little bit different motivation. Our animals get their entire diet every single day, no matter what. So instead, running out here is a trained behavior. It's a game. It's great exercise for them. But it's something that they're choosing to do. We never force our animals to do anything that they do not want to do. So if our cheetahs don't want to run, it's their choice. Our job as trainers is to make it fun and exciting so that our cats do want to come out here and run for you guys, get that great exercise for them, and really show you guys what these animals are built for. And help me count down. In five, four, three, two, one. Woo! That's my cat, honestly. Oh, yeah. Woo! Here you go, buddy. I want one. I know, right? Hopefully you guys were able to see. I heard you guys all see her. She can do with that what she wants. We choose to use feathers because they're completely safe for our animals. So if she wants to eat the whole thing, she can. Typically she doesn't care. She's going to chew on it for a little bit until she breaks the string. Uh, and then she might come over to me. She does know that I have about a half pound of raw meat on me uh, as a way of telling her good job as well. You also notice that she took that lure and she took it over to the grasses. This is a very natural behavior for cheetahs. When cheetahs are running, they run for about 30 seconds and then their body temperature becomes elevated, their muscles become fatigued, they're physically exhausted animals. Uh, so it's very natural for them to want to take whatever item they might have just caught and try to hide it. Other predators in Africa, things like lions, hyenas, wild dogs, even jackals and vultures, have figured out that cheetahs are a very good hunter, but they're exhausted after afterwards. They'll allow their body to cool down before they're able to actually consume it. Now as you guys can see, she has figured out that she's done with that lore, and she's come over to me to get a little bit more reinforcement. So this is my way of telling her that she did a great job, that's exactly what I was looking for, and I can communicate that to her by offering her different things that she enjoys. Now it is important to keep in mind that we are out here with the cheetah. What separates her from her cousins in Africa is that she acclimated through positive reinforcement training to work with specific people. This is something that we're very privileged here at Bush Gardens to be able to do, but we don't take it lightly. We actually have a lot of resources that allow us to do this. Uh, we have our own animal hospital here at Bush Gardens. We have our own vet staff. We have a team of eight trainers that are working with our cheetahs every single day, 365 days a year, building the relationships that allow us to do this. So as cute as she is, as amazing as this opportunity is, we never lose that sight of the fact that she is still a wild animal, and it does take a lot of time to build up this relationship. Now, the primary reason that we want you guys out here to see our chi, our chi, our see chi out here running is, of course, these guys do need our help. Cheetahs are an endangered species. They're an iconic animal. We all know them for their amazing speed, but sadly, their populations are estimated at less than six or less than 7,000 cheetah remaining in Africa right now. So they're definitely a species that needs our help. So we encourage you guys to help different conservation organizations. Over the past few years, there's been a lot of studies on the populations of cheetah in the wild. 
And the conclusion is, is there's probably less than 7,000 left. This is why scientists are pushing to have cheetahs in the category of endangered on international lists rather than just threatened, like most countries have them right now. But like with every endangered species, habitat is critical. I hope you learned a little bit about cheetahs today, and of course, uh, until next time, keep exploring.